little stuff chat. So Pokemon Go launched yesterday. Now there's millions of people walking aimlessly through the bush trying to catch them all. You can use the explanation in the beginning. So Pokemon Go is an augmented reality geolocated MMORPG for Pokemon. Easy. So you just download the app for the Android or iOS, you install it, and then you become a Pokemaster. So you're role, it's a role-playing game where you're playing a Pokemaster, and you have to travel around to different areas catching Pokemon. It uses a custom Google Map overlay and your GPS and your phone. So you have to be within, like, within GPS range of a Pokemon or a pit stop to be able to collect Pokeballs or catch Pokemon. So then when you're within range of a Pokemon, what you do is you have to use your phone's camera uh, with augmented reality to kind of line it up with the Pokemon, flick a little Pokeball at it to catch it. The game mechanics are simple, but it's so awesome. Now the technology isn't exactly new, it's been around for a while, so the company that's behind this uh, Niantic Labs is actually owned by Google, and they started a game many, many years ago called Ingress, which had a very similar kind of game mechanic. Ingress is very similar, you basically walk around a map and you have to be within uh, GPS location of a portal, and then you can hack the portal, and by hacking a bunch of portals you get more power and you can join with other teams to attack other portals. And Ingress was great, like I played that for a few years, um, but never really got into it massively, it kind of like faded away, it's a bit of a fad. And I think it's because of the whole hacking thing and the certain UI they used, um, so it only attracted the nerds. I mean, Pokemon Go right now is definitely in the fad phase, so it'll be interesting to see whether it, it sticks and gets user engagement. Um, but the, the application of Pokemon is so good for this type of technology, this AR game. I mean, most people under the age of 35 probably know what Pokemon is and understand the storyline and the whole concept. Um, you know, it's about a, a kid going around, you know, traveling the world and catching Pokemon in the wild and then battling against others. And what I actually predict will happen is that Pokemon, uh, their marketing team, because I'm sure they have a huge marketing team, uh, by the end of the year they'll start having tournaments for the best players across the world and they'll pay for their travel expenses to a gym. Just like StarCraft and League of Legends, I actually think very soon there'll be a pro league for Pokemon where paid players travel the world and compete in global tournaments. And that's, that's nuts. That's like real Pokemon. So imagine these pro players wearing uh, custom uniforms, much like Ash did in Pokemon, with corporate branding on them, and they're paid to, to travel the world to exotic locations to catch Pokemon and stream that out live. And just like StarCraft and League of Legends, imagine annual uh, competitions, tournaments, where the best in the world compete for multi-million dollar prize pools, and everyone watches that live. Whoa. And while the game mechanics are quite simple right now, where you're basically walking around, tapping on the screen, and then flicking a Pokeball at a Pokemon, they will advance over time. Right now, they're, they're simple, which means they're accessible to everyone. The simple game mechanics at the lower levels actually helps attract the gamers, the average gamers, and the non-gamers, which helps build a massive groundswell audience, which then legitimizes the pro leagues and has a live audience for it. But it would be hard for Niantic Labs to introduce more advanced game mechanics for people at the higher levels, so it becomes much harder when you say level 99 Pokemaster. And then you can start adding in all this, like, cool AR hardware. And it's raining. Okay, so, um, obviously the best way to play something like Pokemon Go would be using some type of augmented reality glasses. Imagine, like, the next iteration of Google Glass, where you just see the Pokemon. Because it's kind of awkward and dangerous, like, looking down at your phone, you know, trying to, trying to see where the Pokemon are and not looking at what's in front of you. Um, so this could actually be a way for Google to bring back Glass into the mainstream. You might have heard that Google Glass died, but it didn't die. Google just, like, um, brought it back to the drawing board. They've been working on it in stealth for all this time. So it'd be interesting to see how far they've got. Imagine Pokemon Go like really infiltrates the, the masses, you know, hundreds of millions of users. It becomes like Google's biggest game that they own. This is the perfect way to bring about the AR revolution and start getting people wearing glasses. The original Google Glass cost $1,500 and it was more a prototype for developers to test and play with. Imagine if they come out with a $99 version that does basically the same thing but suited for Pokemon Go. And hopefully they wouldn't look like glasses from the future with like little things jutting out the side. They look like normal Ray-Bans so people would want to wear them and you wouldn't know the difference. But they could have like overlays and you could like throw Pokeballs with your hands. For AR to take off, we're actually pretty much already there in terms of software. I mean, the fact that you can show overlays and, and holograms in your, on your phone camera is pretty cool. The next step is hardware, and we're almost there. There's companies like Magic Leap, Meta, HoloLens. They're all chunky devices at the moment that have to be tethered to a computer, but we're not that far away from just having, you know, portable devices. And imagine all the other potential uses once that takes off. Um, so things like gamifying your life. Everything can be uh, holographed. Every, you, the real world becomes overlaid with the data that you want, that you want to see. So, snap your thoughts, our future, where do you think Pokemon Go is going, and how are you going? What level are you at? <laughs> Psydux. Yes. Go Pokeball! Damn it. <laughs>